Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Hope all of you are having great time. Today we are going to answer two very interesting questions regarding AWS RDS. So before we get into those questions, let's understand topology what we are working with. So you have your primary and multi-AZ standby. So it is multi-AZ setup. You have a read replica which is replicating for your from your primary. And questions are one: What happens when failover occur? So your primary and standby changes the role. What happens to your read replica? And second question is: What happens when primary database itself is deleted? What happens to your read replica? So these are the two interesting questions what we are going to see in this particular tutorial so please stay tuned watch till the end and i'm pretty sure like you are going to learn something new today thanks and let's get started okay so i already logged into management console and went to rds page and you can see there is database created which is a postgresql engine and there is a read replica as well right and both database and read replica and us is 1d right this is a topology for our rds instance and uh, just to make it very clear to you right i'll just show you in uh, architectural form so that it's uh, pretty clear right so you have primary database which is in us is 1d and you have standby so we have multi az setup and read replica is created which is having replication from primary right so uh, when it's standby it is a multi az it has a synchronous replication and when it is a read replica it is a asynchronous replication so moment we write something on primary right away it will be available in standby and in read replica there will be eventual consistent what we are trying to do it here we are trying to see what is the impact on read replica when you are doing say failover from primary to standby what happens to read replica we want to figure that out and second thing we will be figuring out is what happens when you for example delete this primary instance itself right the primary instance is replicating data to standby as well as in read replica what happens when primary is deleted completely right what happens to read replica so that is the second question we are going to answer so let's get started with that and then just to save the time right i have created database with uh, uh, multi az right i'll just show you that we have multi az configuration just cross verify that multi az and secondary zone is in us is 1c our primary is in us is 1d secondary is in us is 1c and read replica is in us is 1d itself so essentially if we see it in our uh, like architecture we can see that it is us is 1d az and similarly this one is us is 1c us is 1c so that that becomes very clear to us let me just show one more thing right if i go here i want to see where we can see replication information okay so yeah so this is good information whenever you have doubt about what is replicating right where it is replicating and all that this is a good place to come and uh, check out so if i see this so this uh, database one is a primary which is like a uh, 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 part of the replication and second is this is re replica one and if you can see database one is a replication source so this is the database one replication source right so this is good place to come and cross verify our understanding on replication status okay so enough said and i'll just go ahead and reboot with failover okay so reboot is in progress what i'll do is i'll just pause this video and come back and once it's available we'll talk more on this okay so failover has completed and you can see our primary az is us just 1c now right instead of us is 1d it is us 1c uh, 1c and read replica is still in 1d as we don't even expect like there should be any change for read replica as said uh, but like primary and secondary region has uh, like az has changed us is 1c is a new primary for us so if you see this us is 1c so this became primary and this became standby for us this uh, az and read replica ideally should replicating from primary is from standby and we we'll just cross verify that and that is the intent of this exercise so if i go into replication 
if we go to replication and then you can see that replication source for read replica is database one that is expected and we can see that like it is replicating from 1c to 1d okay and uh, yeah so uh, th this is a replication lag but like eventually it will be uh, it will be like uh, synced up right so we don't need to do anything for uh, this particular postgresql version for rds right and why i say so is this is 15.4 uh, like PostgreSQL version and if I go into document I just want to show you this this is interesting if you have multi AZ which is true in our case and you have read replica the, re the read replica might need restart depending on the RDS for PostgreSQL version and if you see it PostgreSQL 13 and higher ours is 15.4 you don't need restart restart isn't required but if it is 12 and below then you need restart or it automatically restarts when uh, this role changes multi easy so this is good to know we don't need anything uh, as such for our setup so that is good like at least we can see that uh, how this is behaving and even like read replica can have multi easy setup so for example even i can go ahead and then say like convert this to multi easy so for creating read replica multi easy do we need primary instance to be multi az no it could be single az this particular database or it could be multi az so read replica works as expected and it start replicating from new primary okay so this is good so now let's answer the second question and this is more interesting uh, to me what happens when we delete this particular primary itself okay so i don't want to create a snapshot I don't want to retain my backups. I acknowledge that this is uh, risky. So delete me and then delete. Okay. So let's see what happens to our uh, read replica. Does it like say that this also is deleted or something different behavior for read replica? So we'll just uh, wait for this to get deleted and then we'll check with uh, what happens to read replica yeah so you can see that our primary database is getting deleted and uh, read replica is it's showing modifying so definitely something happening with read replica so our read replica is getting rebooted so great it rebooted our read replica and made it instance so role if you change it's changed to instance it's no more replica and it is a standalone database so you can really use this database as any other database so what happened is when you delete your primary it deleted its standby as well but made our read replica as a standalone database and that's it and this is the answer to our second question let's summarize so first question is what happens to read replica when primary database fails over to standby and our answer is replication continues with new primary as replication source read replica may or may not need restart depending on the db version in our case we didn't need a restart or it didn't go for a restart read replica and replication continued and second is what happens to read replica when primary database is deleted the standby instance will also be deleted and read replica becomes standalone read writable database we learned something new today if so please like this video share leave your comment so that i know this content is helping you don't forget to subscribe and that's now okay see you again with yet another exciting tutorial about aws keep learning keep sharing what you learn and thanks for watching